Blacktop Hoops is the latest and greatest in VR basketball simulation. The first beta version was made available this past April, and the devs over at Vinci Games have been rapidly expanding the experience ever since. At launch, it was fairly bare bones, but the core basketball gameplay was, and still is, the best out there, and it had the potential of being something truly special. And the devs are making damn sure that happens. So, the biggest thing this game was lacking when compared to its competitors was online multiplayer, which is something they were hard at work on when the game initially dropped. And as promised, it released in early summer. And it is awesome. The social component of a basketball game like this is one of the most important aspects, and it's the only reason I said something like Gym Class would be remotely worth playing. But now, yeah, this game's everything I want it to be. If you want a more in-depth look at the base gameplay and mechanics, I invite you to watch my initial video on this game, because this one will be mainly focused on these new additions. First things first, I've gotta mention the new location, because a ton of this upcoming footage is gonna take place there, so it needs to be called out right away. Despite Los Angeles dormantly sitting there since launch, the newly added location is actually Oakland, which is definitely an odd selection for a second location, but it looks really good so I won't complain. New York City was such a great one to start with. It feels very upbeat and lively, capturing the hustle and bustle of the city while providing a clean, albeit standard, court. Then this one goes for a more chill vibe. You're in a residential area, there's a giant lake, and of course, the sun is setting, which gives it such a relaxing feel. And I love how much these two courts contrast each other aesthetically. They genuinely feel unique and make up for the lack of quantity in locations right now. But of course, the major updates are all centered around online play, which was officially released to all Quest players on June 8th. The Steam players had to wait a bit longer. It was actually just added this past week, but with that, crossplay was implemented, so no matter what version you play on, you can play with anyone and have access to the entire active online community, which makes it much easier to find games. You have three choices when you select online parks, public game, host a game, and private game. Public game lets you search through all the active lobbies to find one that's almost full, host a game lets you create a private room for your friends to join, and private game lets you enter a room code and join a private room. The only thing that's set in stone before joining a specific room is, well, the location, but more importantly, the shooting difficulty. There's casual, pro, and manual, which get progressively more precise and therefore harder to make shots with. This difficulty is set for the entire room, which makes sure everyone's on even playing ground, and I'm glad they set it up like that. Any kind of handicap in these matches would defeat the whole purpose of them, and this way allows players at any skill level to find others like them and compete at their highest level. It's also a great way to let players change things like aim assist and throw power in a simplified manner. Instead of having individual meters for these things, you can pick a simple preset. Anyways, once you enter a lobby, you gotta wait around for it to fill up, but you can spawn yourself a ball by pressing B and work on different shots and dunks in the meantime. If you join while a game's in progress though, you gotta wait on the other half of the court until it concludes. When that happens and there's enough people, you walk over to the game ball, touch it, and can set all the different match settings. As of right now, you can make it either a 2v2 or 1v1, set which score wins, 11 or 21, and if you want the GOAT finishers on, along with what activates them. You probably noticed the half court setting as well, but you can't change that yet. The faded full court option is in the works now, but when it's done, I assure you it's going to be a blast. And it's not just that, they're planning to increase team sizes as well. 3v3s will be added very soon and 4v4s aren't far behind. I cannot wait to play online 4 on 4 basketball games on a full court. That's going to be so much fun, and as long as the community continues to grow and remains active, everyone will be able to enjoy it for a long time. Because as of right now, even in this alpha state, yeah, it's an absolute joy to play online. Built-in voice chat makes it easy to communicate with teammates, and working together to make big plays is so satisfying. Part of what makes VR basketball so great is that it allows you to do things you would never be able to do in real life. No shot I'm jumping this high to catch a ball and perform a successful alley-oop. That's just not happening. But in this virtual realm, I can do all of that and it feels so good. I can also shoot this fake basketball, like, way better than I can a normal one. The mechanics and physics in this game feel so natural to me, and I can make shots with ease. The only thing that still feels a bit wonky is dribbling, but only in some scenarios. When you're dribbling, it's very smooth and easy to focus on other things going on in the game, but when you grab the ball initially and go to start dribbling, it's tough to get going. You have to let go of the ball, then start motioning toward the ground, but sometimes it won't shoot back to your hand, instead it'll just roll away. It's an RNG thing that's only detected a fraction of the time, 
so when possession changes fairly often, odds are you'll face problems a handful of times each match. But there's always the chance I'm just not doing something right. I don't know. Trying to switch hands is still a genuine issue though. When doing crossovers, the ball will often pull to the wrong hand like a magnet and mess up your play. I know it's tough to detect your intended bounce, as the change in your hand movement is rather minute at times and the game has to do a lot of inferring, but that doesn't mean it isn't a problem. In the grand scheme of things though, both of these are fairly minor concerns, but they are worth mentioning, and I have no doubt they're working to fix all of this. Also, those issues are ones with the gameplay itself, they're not limited to online play. That said, the online functionality is home to a couple shortcomings as well. But those aren't that fixable, because it's not the game itself that's at fault. Lag is something all players are going to face when relying on wireless internet connections, and trying to have four real players in one small space. But in such a technical sport, it's difficult to cope with. You'll take an easy shot, and apparently your opponent was right in front of you and jumped. You'll go up for a block, and I guess you just didn't. Or you'll go for a steal, literally punch the ball out, and somehow get scored on. It happens a lot. You'll make the perfect play to find out it didn't even count. But again, you really can't blame the game. It's just because someone in each lobby is bound to have a poor connection, especially in a larger room. But when playing against only one other person and with a stable connection, it's really a seamless good time. There's still plenty of addressable issues with it though. Sometimes bad calls are made that reward the other team with the ball, other times certain shots earn more than two points, when they shouldn't, and there's the game breaking techniques that just ruin everything. The only severe one I know about is the ground dribble, where the player gets super low to where you can't knock the ball out of their hands and just easily maneuvers around you and scores. It's not a big deal, as most people don't play like that, but it happens every few matches and is annoying. I'm sure as a whole, online play will become more manageable in due time, but right now, it works and it's definitely worth giving a try. They're even working to add a more traditional ranked and unranked matchmaking system as we speak, which I'm super excited for. <laughs> It's abundantly clear that these guys are working their asses off to make the perfect online VR basketball game. It's already the best one out there, but it's gonna far exceed expectations soon enough. I just love seeing hard work get put into these VR sports games. It's why I fell in love with 2ND VR football. The devs there are committed to making their game the absolute best it can be for their customers, and I feel that same vibe from the folks at Vinci Games. And this game has the added benefit of being totally free which makes downloading it a no-brainer. Its competitors, at least in my opinion, are inferior in almost every way, and they cost like 10 bucks, which isn't a lot for a VR game, but it's certainly more than free, right? Being free though, how the hell are they gonna be able to continue development? Well, that's where their Kickstarter campaign comes in. Now, it's not live yet, but it's scheduled to be by the end of the summer. In the meantime, click the link below and opt to be notified when it goes live. Every little bit will help this game become what it's destined to be, and I know the developers won't let a penny of that go to waste. And no, I don't receive a cut, nor am I being paid to say any of this. I just genuinely think this project has the most promise of any VR basketball game, and I have faith in those working on it. I'll do my best to keep up with all the updates and such on this channel, but if you want to ensure you're in the know, join the official Blacktop Hoops Discord server using the link below. There's a large and expanding community of players on there, and you'll never miss anything they add, so it's a win-win. But before I wrap this video up, I want to announce that I recently launched a channel membership. I had a Patreon set up a while back, but these are much more integrated and easy to maintain. I've got three tiers set up right now, and for as little as $2 a month, you can support this channel a ton. I won't get into the specifics of each tier, but click join and take a look for yourself if you're interested. They're nothing too exciting, because I don't want to take effort away from these videos for everyone, but I think there's some cool offerings. Don't feel at all like you have to though. I know money can be tight, I totally get it, but it would be a huge deal to me if you did. But that's it, I don't want to plug anymore, just wanted to throw that out there for those of you who might be interested. Yo, can you shut up, you little clinger? Ooh. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video until the end. If you missed my previous Blacktop Hoops video, click the card, or check out my Hoops Madness review.